Hey guys, what's up? It's Laser. As you can tell, my voice sounds terrible. I am sick. I have been sick for the past several days. I... <coughs> Cough count. <laughs> um, I have been sick for the past several days. In fact, almost... No, it is a week now, because it's Tuesday today. Um, well, the day I'm recording it, it's Tuesday. Um, I have been sick for about a week... I went to the doctors yesterday, and there, yeah. <laughs> so, today's video, because I am sick, um, I, sorry if I look down, I'm looking at the computer screen, oof, she's bright, uh, she's brighter than my future. Anyway, so, because I am sick today, I'm going to kind of be doing a get to know me. So I'm going to Google um, all about me questions. So these are prob there's probably going to be a few that I'm not going to answer because, well, some of these are an obvious answer because of my age. But yeah. Okay, let's do this. Number one, have I ever been in a bachelor or bachelorette party? No, I have not because <laughs> of my age <laughs> once again been in either because I'm a female so I would never be in a bachelor party and I haven't been in a bachelorette party because none of my friends are married and when my mum got married I was very young and when most of my mum's friends got married I was very young so no I have not have I ever gotten a ticket for driving no I have not I'm a very very good driver I've gotten my license two months ago maybe three two and a half I don't know <laughs> Hasn't been long, but I haven't gotten like I haven't gotten a speeding ticket yet, or even any ticket to be honest. Um, quite surprised. There's been a few times where I think I've run a red light, but that's fine. <laughs> Not really. Um, how can you tell when I'm having a bad day? Um, so when I'm having a bad day, I usually can hide it fairly well. Just depends on how bad the day is. If I'm having an incredibly bad day. A best way to tell is if I am sitting down by myself or if I'm with a group just sitting down looking at my phone, ignoring anything. So if someone speaks to me and I don't respond, usually indicates I'm having a bad day, either leave me alone or just give me a huge hug. Depends on the person, <laughs> once again. Um, I don't like to share my feelings because ill feelings. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I recently had a breakdown towards the end of one of my videos. I don't know if I'm going to actually show it or not because I recently filmed it and I had like a full on breakdown. So I don't know if we're going to have the very, very start or if it's just going to all of a sudden break. And then if you know why, it's because I yeah, don't like showing my feelings, especially not to people. <laughs> Am I creative? Um, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think in some things I'm fairly creative. I mean, I can write songs. I just can't compose. So that's kind of annoying. Because, like, I have these... One second. Good <laughs> lyrics. Um, and I just can't bring them out to the world. Because, well, <laughs> I can't play any instrument besides my voice. Which, right now, I can't even do. Maybe if we're lucky, we might be able to hear my terrible voice. Ooh, my food's ready. We'll get that later. How often do I use social media? Um, <laughs> I use it a lot more than I should, especially when I'm homesick because I should be doing homework or sleeping. I <laughs> I woke up at like 7.30, 7 something this morning. Um, I made sure my cousin was ready for school and then I went back to bed. <laughs> And then woke up not that long ago, as you can tell by how gross my hair looks. Um, I couldn't be bothered on my hair because, I mean, I'm not going out anyway, I'm sick. <laughs> but yeah, I use it way too often. <laughs> Especially Snapchat. Snapchat is my guilty pleasure. That's the word! <coughs> Sorry, I was thinking of a word a few days ago and I couldn't think of what it was. Number six. Would I rather live in a big city or on a farm? I don't like mud. I don't like getting mud or dirt anywhere. So, probably a big city. Although I don't like lots of noise. So, probably neither. 
Am I Nate or am I messy? I am messy in some things, and I'm Nate in other things. <laughs> Depends on what it is. If we're talking about my room, oh, God, it's like a pigsty. Um, but if we're talking about, like, my desk at school or school stuff, I'm, I'm fairly neat. I'd like to think so. Um, my writing's on neat because, <laughs> well, I can't write to save my life. But, yeah, do I believe in life after death? Very controversial question. Nice. <laughs> um, I am a believer of life after death. I mean, it's kind of been a thing I've wondered for a fair, fair bit of my life. Like, what's going to happen once we pass? Like, I always worry about my future and what's going to happen once I pass away. Like, is that just my life over? Am I just watching over everyone else now? Or do I become reincarnated as somebody else <coughs> um one of the big things that I've read was what if the reason why babies cry when they come out of the womb is because they remember all of their past like they remember their previous life I mean not really realistic uh, but you never know um that's been a big thing that I've been reading into um I'm really into that kind of stuff um, and yeah, it's, it's, re it's really interesting. Um, some of the research, it definitely is 50, 50. It's in the end what you believe there's research supporting both sides. I mean, not research per se, but there's definitely positives and neg not positives. <laughs> Ugh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> there are things that support both sides. Um, it's, it's hard to decide because obviously you don't know, like for all I know, I could have been a man in my previous life. If life, if, if you did have, believe in life after death, um, it's, it's definitely a very controversial topic. I mean, it's all up to what you believe. I believe that there is life after death, but anyway, <laughs> before I go too into detail, and wasted up all of my time just answering question number eight. Question number nine is another controversial question. Do I believe in life on other planets? Yes, there is scientific research to prove that there has been or there is life on other planets. I believe that there is life on other planets. Others believe that there was life on other planets, but not anymore. <coughs> like from Mars, for example. I believe that there was life on Mars. Um, I believe that ozone layer, I believe is what it's called. Don't quote me on science because I dropped out of science. Um, is like now a very thin layer around the Earth. But I believe that for them to still survive, I think they're still surviving. They've dug tunnels under the under Mars and are living down there and like ants, kind of. Um, minus the going up on Earth, <laughs> going up on the surface and finding food. Because if they do, they will die. Um, so yeah, what are two things that I am really good at? Not a lot. <laughs> um, I'd like to think I'm fairly good at photography. I mean, I have a few photos that I might pop up. Uh, one there. Then one over there. Maybe one down there. Uh, that way. <laughs> down that way. Kind of like in that space. Yeah. And that one over here. But yeah, I'd like to think I'm fairly good at photography. Um, it's definitely a thing I love. And then obviously I'm, I'd like to think I'm fairly good at singing. I mean, others would say no, but <laughs> um, it, it's definitely up to interpretation what you believe you're good at. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys. What are three things I would want to have if I was stranded on an island? Um, I would bring Sam Winchester because if I bring Sam Winchester, then Dean Winchester will come to save him and then I'll automatically be saved. Um, <laughs> an unlimited supply of food and like those thingies, like a little pot. So then I can boil water of the ocean and get rid of all the salts. Um, what position do I sleep in? I am one of those cliche girls who sleeps 
on their tummy, one leg up, one leg straight. Sometimes the other leg's slightly bent. But yeah. What do I do to de-stress? Probably listen to music or dance when I can. If I can't dance, then I listen to music. If I can't listen to music, then I dance. And if I can't do either, <laughs> I'm just stressed <laughs> until it kind of go- goes down. Um, have I ever seen a ghost or had any kind of paranormal experiences? No, but I do believe in ghosts. Um, and not those like stupid ones where they like, pop up. Like those ones where something moves, but there's nothing to kind of show that it actually was a ghost. And it's 14. Oh, we have some more. What's well, mum's maiden name? Not telling you. <laughs> um, 16. What was the name of my elementary school? Well, I'm from Australia, so we don't have elementary school, but we have primary school. Um, I went to Redwood Park Primary. But yeah, it's a good school. Did I ever go to summer camp? I have no idea what that is, because once again, I'm not American. I guess it just means a camp over the holidays. I have. I've been on Christian camps. Am I more like my mother or my father? I have never met my father, so I have no idea. Um, so I'd like to say I'm more like my mum. I look a lot like her. Hey, mum. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure. What was my favourite subject in school? Well, what is? Because I'm still in school. Year 12. Mm. Uh, music or photography. Love those two subjects. They're like my favourite subjects in the world. That was very loud. What was my least favourite subject in school? What? Yeah, I guess I can say was because I don't do it anymore. Math. And I don't like English. Um, math, it's because it's very specific. Um, English, because of my teachers. <laughs> what is one club that I participated in at school? I did a lot of extracurricular activities. Um, I had... Three or four music bands. I was in our school's principal team, our school's student team. Um, so, yeah. Who was my oldest friend? Um, <laughs> I actually have no idea. I think it's my friend. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I do know. My friend. To Neil, shout out to Tanil if you're watching this. Love you, girl. Um, what year did I graduate from high school? Hopefully, 2019. Fingers crossed. Am I okay then? <laughs> Am I close with my parents? Mm. I'm gonna move this down a bit. There we go. Am I close with my parents? Um. <laughs> One of them, yes. I'm very close with my mum. I currently have a stepdad, but I'm not as close with him as I'd like to be. Um, I don't know what it is. Just something holds me back. Um, Yeah, it's very strange. How do I show someone that I love them? Um, (laughs) I'm very cringy. I'm, yeah. I pl- I talk with them as much as I can. Try to get to know them better. Most of the time I know them fairly well, though. Um, one thing I do is I try to play truth or dare to try and get them to dare me or tell my crush that I like them. Do I like to be affectionate in public? Uh, sometimes. Not really. I don't like showing affection. It's gross. It cringes me. Like, it bleh. <laughs> what is one thing that I would not tolerate in a relationship? Trust. If you don't trust me, there's no point in being in this relationship. If we don't trust each other, what's the point of there being a relationship at all? That is a big, strong thing that I'm passionate about, and I've always been passionate about when it comes to relationships. And mostly trust. If I can't trust you, you can't trust me, then, well, we shouldn't be in a relationship to start off with. I always make sure I can trust the person before I want to get in a relationship with them. Um, But yeah. What are my thoughts on open relationships and polygamy? What is polygamy? Oh, having several. Okay. I mean, some are into it, some aren't. I mean, it all depends on the person. Me, myself, I'm not a fan of it. 
I can't think of having my partner going and having sexual stuff, doing sexual stuff with another woman or another man. Um, um, it, it's definitely not something I'd be interested in ever doing. Um, especially not pol- polygamy, I think it's how you pronounce it. I wouldn't be able to share my, share my partner. Um, <laughs> I'm very clingy. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't do it. Um, how did my last relationship end? Um, badly. <laughs> Let's just say that. It didn't, it didn't end great. Um, I got a message while recording, which I don't think I'm ever going to release in that video anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, just them breaking up with me. Um, and I didn't take it too well. I broke down. I was in tears and I was in tears for a good few minutes on the video before I realized, oh wait, I'm still recording. Um, I was a mess for weeks. <laughs> um, my life was just hell. Cause like I had put so much in that relationship. I'd put so much trust, so much faith, so much emotion into that relationship. And then for them to say the things that they said, um, that I did, uh, really broke me cause they kept coming up with stuff being like, I was using them for their body. Um, I, yeah, that's one of them. I'm not going into all of them. Um, I guess another one that really annoyed me and really made me upset was when he, they said, I'm not going to say gender <laughs> or their name, but we're going to call them Bradley. When Bradley messaged me saying um, that they were putting in all the effort into the relationship and that I was doing nothing for the relationship, that I was just using them for their body, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, a whole bunch of excuses that were completely false. I'd like to mention that now. If there are any rumors going around about me from this pe- from Bradley, I would like to say that they are 100% false. I mean, I doubt any of you watching will know who Bradley is, who he really is. And I'm saying he, because it's obvious, because I named him Bradley. Um, but yeah. It, yeah. Would I ever take back someone who cheated? Not anymore. I used to. I'm, I am a sucker for giving second chances. Um, in fact, I give someone three chances until I finally realized that my, that relationship was not healthy. It was a very toxic relationship. Most relationships where your partner cheats on you are fairly toxic. <coughs> I mean, sometimes they can't. Sometimes they are just a. I'm sorry. I regret it. I was drunk. Kind of moment. <coughs> Far out. <coughs> What's that like seven now? <laughs> um, some aren't toxic, but f- majority of them are fairly toxic. If they're cheating on you, um, so. I don't anymore. I used to. I regret it. It's the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. I just keep getting hurt from them continuously cheating. So, no, I would not ever take anyone back who cheated now. Um, what always cheers me up when you think about it? <laughs> there were moments in my relationship with Bradley that were just perfect you'd consider it like it would be considered a perfect relationship based off the stuff that we did like Bradley used to buy me um used to buy me lunches like just the basic kind of stuff Bradley bought me oh, I'm trying to think. he bought me flowers he bought me a, p- a bit of cake on my birthday because my birthday was very close to our anniversary. Um, it was just hard, though. Like, it was literally less than a week after they bought me all this amazing stuff when they broke up with me. And it really made me question, like, why would you waste your money on me if you were going to break up with me? Because clearly they'd have thought they'd had thoughts prior. They wouldn't just wake up one morning and be like, nah, I'm going to break up with them. Although some people are like that. And those people are bitches. Um... What habit do I have now that I wish started earlier? Getting up early. (laughs) 
is a habit I seem to do now. Like, no matter what, I always seem to get up insanely early. I wish I had it earlier so then I wasn't a pain in the ass to my family. One of some of the best vacations I've had. Oh, um, I love... I loved going to New, um, New Caledonia and a few islands in New Caledonia. It was amazing. It is definitely spectacular. You should definitely go if you get the chance. Definitely. <laughs> when was the last time I immediately regretted something I said? Uh, I told one of my crushes before we were dating that I had feelings for them. And they didn't feel the same way. And, yeah. <laughs> I accidentally messaged them saying that. Do I floss my teeth? Yes. Do I move around a lot in bed? Probably. I'm not sure. <laughs> Do I snore? Depends. Do I have any useless talents? No. I am talentless. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say I am? Would I say I am? Sorry. Um, not very funny. Probably like a 2. Um, if I had a warning label, what would it say? Beware. Crazy woman alert. Satan. And if I had a giraffe that I needed to hide, where would I hide it? No way. Why would I ever want to hide a giraffe? If I managed to have a giraffe, I'm going to, like, boom. My parents would love the fact that I had a giraffe as well. Like, especially my dad. Um, what's the silliest thing I've convinced someone of? <laughs> I managed to convince my cousin that head lice spray and detangle spray get rid of the monsters that hide in her room. And it still works to this day. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how long that lasts. So yeah. What's the most embarrassing story from my childhood? When I was not even one. Um, I was two months off being one. So I was like ten months old. Um, I <laughs> I sat in our esky at Christmas. Because <laughs> it was boiling hot. And I got really bad sunburn all along here. Which is how I got my freckles. Which you can't really see. So, yeah, <coughs> what odd smell do I really enjoy? A lot of people don't like the smell of curried egg. Oh, I love it. Love it. What's the worst thing I've eaten out politeness? I tried to eat burritos that have coriander in it. Um, For those who don't know me, when I, te when I have coriander in my food, I could tell if there was a teeny tiny little grain of coriander. I hate coriander. Um... And I tried to eat a burrito that we bought that wasn't cheap, that had coriander in it. And I didn't even eat a quarter of it. It was disgusting because of the amount of coriander. Um, they're all tiny, 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 tiny bits. But yeah, I wouldn't be, I wasn't able to eat it as much as I really didn't want to. The worst hairstyle I've ever had was when I was a kid. I had it cut to about there. <laughs> it was bad. It was very bad. I wonder if we can get a photo up. If we can get a photo up, it'll go up there. I think that should be enough. <laughs> you guys know enough about me now. Um, so, I'm LJ Rocks, also known as Louisa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you rock stars later. Bye. Mwah.